Now let's see the input, output and in out, the characteristic of input, output and in out keywords in Verilog with respect to data type. So these keywords which are input, output and in out basically declare the input, output and bidirectional ports of a module or a task. And here the important point is the input and in out ports are of type wire. So an input port, whenever we are declaring a port as an input port, its type is wire. The in out port will also have a data type wire. And the output port can be configured to be of type wire or register. The output port can be a wire or it can also be a register. Now, where to use a wire type and where to use a register type that again completely depend on our design. What is our design or and how we are going to basically uh, write the STL code for our design. As I told in previous modules, if we are modeling any circuit using procedural blocks, that means in procedural blocks, the left hand side variable of a expressions is always has a data type register. So suppose if you are modeling a multiplexer and while modeling a multiplexer, if you are using the behavioral modeling style, then the, regist the, the multiplexer output we need to declare as a register data type. So we will see more examples as we move forward in this crash course. But just remember here that the output can be a wire data type or as a register data type depending on our design and how we are basically modeling the design. Here is the syntax. So this is an input port. It, its data type will be wire. This is also in, input port. It is a vector input port. Its data type is also going to be a wire. This is a, an output. So its, out, its data type can be a wire as well as a register. And the input out in out port, which is also going to be a wire type. So here is an example input. We have a, b and a and b, b port, which will be of wire type and then we have the output C and D. D is a vector. So this is also going to be so so this is going to be either a wire or a register data type. So if you want to declare a port, a output port as a register, we can declare it like this. So here the output keyword will be telling that this is the output port and it is a its data type. So default data type if we don't declare it as a register then its data type default is going to be a wire. But to override that, we have to write, we have to basically declare this as a register data. So I hope this is clear.